Hello, Dr. Tracy. Yeah, this is Dr. Tracy. This is David Harmon. I don't know if you remember me, but I was in your class last year. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, David. Um, it's a little bit early, isn't it? Uh, what can I do for you? Well, I, I remember you talking about UFOs all the time and how it was one of your favorite hobbies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's one of my interests. I know this will sound weird, but I just saw a UFO. Okay, okay. Describe it to me. It was like a big fireball that came out of the sky. It flew right over me and landed up past some trees. Okay. Was there an explosion? Not exactly. I don't know. It's hard to describe. But I've never seen anything like it in my life. I know it wasn't a plane or anything. I think it might be a meteor. Where, where are you at? Where, where did this happen? Um, right outside of Harleyville, the town I live in. Yeah, that, that's about five hours from here. I know. But I really think this is something worth checking out. Um, where can I meet you? If you take exit 27 off the turnpike and follow it to the left, it'll bring you right to where I am, right next to a big field. Okay, uh, stay by the side of the road near the field. I'll, uh, give me time to make a few phone calls. Uh, I can be there about six hours from now, okay? Don't worry, I'll wait for you. Great. Okay, we'll see you about six. All right, bye-bye. I'm making yours now, Carol. Can I have some coffee, Ma? No. Coffee ain't no good, Annie. It makes you nervous. Shut up, JJ. 
Well, it's the truth. It makes you nervous. Mom, I'm gonna be late. Okay, Carol, I'm moving as quickly as I can. Late? Late for what? Huh? You heard what I said. What the hell are you late for? I'm gonna be late for the prom. Here are your bags. Don't you get snotty with me, girl. Now, where the hell are you going? It's none of your business where I'm going. Yeah? As long as you're in this house, it's my business. Joe, for God's sake, she's 25 years old. Please don't treat her like a child. Shut up. I know what you're doing. You're gonna meet that Michael Smith kid. I told you before, his old man's a jerk. And I don't want you to have nothing to do with that family. Oh, just because you tried to cheat Michael's father out of some money and didn't get away with it, he's a jerk, huh? Well, you're the jerk and everyone knows it. Carol, please. Oh, Mom, everybody knows Dad's a liar and a cheat. Not to mention a drunken bum. Joe, for God's sake. <laughs> She didn't mean what she said. You know she didn't mean it. Michael's a nice young man, and you were sick about what you said. Joe, put that gun down. What are you doing? <gasps> What can I do, Ma? He's got a gun. You know how he gets. J.J. Montague, for God's sakes, would you please go after your father now? Okay, but I don't know what I can do. Dad's in a pretty nasty mood. Please do what you can and get going. God, Andy, I hope J.J. could stop your father. Dad won't hurt Carol. I hope not. I hate him. My God, what's that? Hot damn! Will you look at that? Boy, ain't that something? Pa, oh, what is that thing? And what kind of man was that? Don't think it was any kind of man, JJ. But it don't matter. This thing here could be worth a lot of money. But what is it, Pa? What's it for? Oh, it's for something, JJ. I'm sure of that. Look, go home, get the wheelbarrow and shovel. We're gonna take this thing with us. Now get going, boy! Don't do what? I'm serious. Don't scare me like that. 
And get that smile off your face. It's not funny. Hey, come on. It was only a joke. Oh, yeah, some joke. You should have seen the look on your face. Well, you're just lucky I didn't kick you. What with my crazy father chasing me out here with a gun, and now you scaring the hell out of me. Are you serious? No, I like to tell lies. I mean about your father with a gun. I thought I heard a shot. It was him. Oh, he's been drinking again, as usual. I don't care. This is the fourth time he scared you with a gun. Oh, Michael, you know how he is. He's been that way his whole life. That's his problem. I want you out of there now. You don't have to put up with this. Michael, I can't go. I can't leave Mom and Annie here all alone with him. They've got JJ to take care of him. Michael, I don't want to leave you. I love you. Then we'll leave together. And if we have to, we'll take Annie and your mother with us. No. I don't want us to start things off wrong. Oh, look, I want us to get married and have a normal life. But if we run away from Harleyville, things will never be right. OK, Carol. But I know one thing. If that father of yours scares you like this again, I'm going to beat his face in. think uh, this thing came down. I hope you don't think I'm making this up. David, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think you were on the level. Now, where did this thing go down? Well, it went beyond those trees over in the distance. Hmm. It's got to be a couple miles. Any trails going back that way? Uh-huh. Well, looks like we're going to be doing a little hiking. By the way, does anyone else know about this? No, not that I know of. You didn't mention it to anyone? Not me. People in this town wouldn't understand something like a meteor. Well, it may be more than that, David. After you called this morning, I checked with several of my sources in the scientific community and found out that something with a rather unusual mass did come down. What well, do you think other people are going to be looking for? Thankfully, no. I talked to a friend of mine over the Air Force Base, and according to him, they've already chalked this one up as a meteor that burned up in the atmosphere. Oh, really? But there is something we do have to be concerned about, and that is we're losing daylight fast. We better get going. OK. You lead the way. All right. Boy, don't worry, Paul. I'm okay. Michael, I don't know. Maybe you should wait till you cool down before you talk to him. Carol, I'm talking to him now. Yeah, but Michael, something's going on over there, and I don't think this is the right time for a confrontation. No, Carol, now. Come on, let's go. What is this thing? Where did you get it? Dad, where's Carol? Shut up, I'm busy. JJ, get this thing in the garage. Just a minute. Shut up, woman. Hey, you pull one more stunt like this morning, I'm taking Carol away for good. Michael, please, you're just going to make things worse. Get going. OK, man, I'm going. You just leave Carol alone, OK? What the heck is that thing? Not of your business, punk. Get moving, JJ. Wait a minute, JJ. What is that, and where did you get it? Well, we found this green man in the woods, and Pa shot at it, and it dropped this white thing. Shut up, JJ. I don't want nobody knowing about that. Now lock it up. Ma, Frank Hunter just pulled up. Oh, no. Hey, Frank. Watch oh, out. I'll bet he came to see that thing from the green man. Annie Montague, I've told you there's no such thing as a green man. Hey, really glad you could make it. Hey, Becky, do you look pretty today? All right, all right, enough of that, Montague. Now listen. This thing you call me out here to see better be good. It is, Frank, it is. And you say it's worth a lot of money? You betcha. Well, are we ever going to get to see this great discovery, Joe? Oh, sure, I'll get it for you right now. JJ!
What in heaven's name is that? He did something else? Oh, it's something else, all right. What the hell is it, Joe? Don't know what it is. But I ain't never seen nothing like it. And it come from a green man. Green man? Oh, for God's sakes, Frank, let's get out of here. Hey, wait a minute, girl. I'll do the thinking here. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. Yeah. And wait till you see what it does. All right, good, good. You know, I'm real anxious to see what this thing does. Hey, and JJ found this little switch on it. You gotta turn it on with a pole. Get me the pole, JJ. Because you can't get near this thing when it's on. Well, that's something, huh? And I'm telling you, Frank, it was this weird green man. I know it sounds crazy, but it was. My pa's telling the truth, Frank. I seen this thing, too. Frank, honey, we gonna stay here and put up with this? Put up with what? We ain't lying, Vicky. You know, I think there's something to what you say, and I'll tell you why. Now, now, Tom Gibbons told me this morning that he saw a fireball fall out of the sky. All right. So let's say there is a green man, and he dropped this, uh, this here thing. He did! He did! All right. You say this thing's worth a lot of money, and you're probably right. But you know what, Joe? This green man would be worth one hell of a lot more money if we got it to the right people. I never gave that a thought. Hot damn, Frank, you're right. All we gotta do is hunt the spaceman and blow a hole through him. No, no, no. We gotta get this thing alive. Now, look. I know certain parties in the city that would pay big bucks if we could get to this thing before the government boys do. No, no, we, we gotta go out and we gotta catch this bird alive. It ain't gonna be easy. Just the three of us. I got it all figured out, Joe. Hey, you and me can go to town and get some of the boys to help us. Yeah, it's better to have too many than not enough. Yeah, but they're gonna want some of the money. Sure, we'll pay the boys a little slice. But we're talking big bucks here, Joe. And uh, paying off some of the boys. <laughs> and you're gonna put a dent in what me and you get. Yeah, you're right. JJ, lock that thing back in the garage and guard it with your life. And don't say nothing to your ma or your sisters. Oh, I ain't going to, Pa. Don't worry. Frank, sweetie, do you really think there is a spaceman? You think I'd be getting involved here if I didn't? Stop your worrying, Vicky. You'll see. We're all going to be rich. Well, that part of it does appeal to me. All right, all right, enough talk. Now, let's go get some helpers before this spaceman decides to go back to the moon. Hey, keep an eye on that thing, boy. You hear? Walked in. Who is that? 
dead spring custard. He's nothing but trash. I didn't mean him. Hank, she's trash too. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, Frank, Vicky. Well, if it ain't Joe Montague. What you been up to, Joe? Oh, nothing good, that's for sure. You ought to see what we seen out at Joe's. Will you shut up? How many times do I have to tell you I'll do the talking? I'm sorry, Frank. Just... Hey, Frank, what are you gonna have? I'll take a whiskey. I got my own. She ain't drinking now. All right, now listen, everybody. <laughs> Joe and me, we got a proposal for some of you. What kind of a proposal? A business proposal, Giddings, if you'll shut the hell up and give me a chance to talk. What you got in mind, Custer? Okay. Here's the deal. Now, Joe and me, we need a couple of good men to go out with us tonight and do a little hunting. You're gonna hunt at night? Yeah, this is something a lot different than regular old hunting. That's right, Alice. And we don't need no women. Hey, no crap, Frank. What's the deal? All right. Now, Joe and me, we's on to something big. I mean real big, big bucks kind of big. Now, what we need are some guys with guns to go out with us tonight out around Joe's house to hunt something out in the woods. What are we looking for, Frank? A bear or something? No, this ain't no bear. It's just something unusual, something special. Now, look. I'll tell you guys all about it tonight at 9 o'clock when we all meet over Joe's house, all right? Now, wait a minute, Frank. What can be worth so much money that you've got to hunt at night? Yeah, it don't sound right to me. I sure don't. Now, look, I know we got something here worth big bucks, and I ain't going to share it with the whole world, just those who comes and helps us. Now, if you go out to Joe's tonight, you'll find out what it is. And you won't regret it, neither. We got something good here. Ask Flicky. She knows. That's right. I saw it at Joe's hey, and... Hey, woman, didn't I tell you I don't want the whole world knowing about this, huh? All right. Now, who's going to go with us and be in on this? Hmm? Now, who wants to be in on the big bucks? I'll go with you. Huh? Ain't got nothing to play tonight anyway. Hey, good. That's one. I'll come out to Joe, just to hear what you got to say. <laughs> yeah, me too. But I ain't promising I'm going to the woods till I know what I'm hunting. Hey, now there's two more smart men. All right, now I need a few more. Who's coming? What the hell? It's better than staying home with my old lady. Count me in, Frank, and I can bring my uncle too. Good, that's it. <laughs> we got enough men now. <laughs> that's it. The offer's closed. Now, don't forget, we meet at 9 at my place. <laughs> That's right, Joe, right, old buddy. And you guys don't forget to bring your guns. Now, look, we meet at 9 o'clock, sharp, at Joe's. jumped me. It must have took the thing. What do you mean it took the thing? How in the hell could you let it do that? I told you to lock it in the garage. I was getting ready to, Pa, and then I heard a noise back here. So you just come back here like a fool and let the green man take it? Damn you, boy. Now you're going to make me look like a fool to Frank and the guys. We can get that round thing back tonight, Pa, when we catch the green man. Yeah, sure. If we catch the damn thing, then you better pray we catch it or I'll turn you over to Custer and let him deal with you. Uh, 
Uh, I'll tell you what, David. We're losing light fast. Let's say we call off the search today and pick it up tomorrow. You don't think I was lying, do you? <laughs> I mean, I know this thing came down around here. Somewhere. David, David, I believe you all the way. It's just that we've got to find some fragments, if there are any. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. Let's say we head into town and get something to eat. Yeah, I guess it does sound good. All right. Mom, is Dad going hunting? No, Annie. I... I don't know what he's doing. Don't worry yourself about it. I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about JJ, because I know he's going, too. Yeah, keep on talking. Like they said. <laughs> yeah, man, it's great. I tell you, Custer, we're going to be rich men. <laughs> yeah, but you know, Joe, we got to catch this bird first. And I've been thinking. I think we ought to let some of the uh, boys take lead. You know, let them walk in front because uh, we don't know what we're dealing with here, and uh, there ain't no sense in us getting our heads blowed off. We're waiting. Hey, right, right, we know. Joe and me were just getting our plan set. We still don't know where we're hunting. Hey, I know you don't know, Bill. I know you don't know. And that's why I wanted you to meet out here at Joe's before we go out. Well, then, what the hell is it? What I'm about to tell you is going to sound a little bit unbelievable. But it's the truth. And you know me, and I wouldn't lie about something like this. Neither would Joe. And what we're going to be uh, hunting out there, some kind of creature. It ain't human. Hey, look, look, I know. I know what I'm saying. I know it sounds crazy. But I'm telling you, there's something out there, and it ain't human. If we can bring it in alive, we're all going to be rich. Just hold on a minute. I know Custer and Montague ain't the most reliable men in town. But I do know they ain't crazy enough to drag us out here for nothing. You're damn right. Now look, I seen that thing. I even shot at it. So I know it's out there. Well, I'm gonna give him a shot. What about the rest of you? Yeah, I'll go. Me too. Yeah, I'll go. With the okay. Hell. Okay. What's this thing look like? It don't matter what it looks like. It don't look like us, and that's all that counts. Now listen, Joe and me are going into the woods. We're going down to Ebenezer Road. Follow us. Yeah, come on, let's go. Let's hurry up. Ma. Hey, how about a game of Scrabble? I hate that game. I'm gonna go play the jukebox. Play Lynn Soler's new song. Okay. Hey, Roscoe, give me another drink. You better slow down, Vicky. Frank's gonna get mad if I let you get all drunk, though. Frank ain't gonna get mad at nobody, because we're gonna be rich.
nice place, David. <laughs> yeah, it's not much, but the food's good. Well, hi there, David. How you doing? I uh, don't no. You and your friend want some menus? That'd be a great idea. And can I get a vodka martini shaken that stirred on the rocks with a twist of wine? No. How about a beer? Sure can. Cook for you, David? Yes, a large one. I know you don't believe it, but you'll see. When Frank gets back, you'll see. Where, where is Frank at? It's a big secret. But I'll tell you, Willie, because I know you're a nice guy. Frank and Joe are up in the woods, and they're going to catch this spaceman that came here. Spaceman? What are you talking about? Oh, a spaceman from Mars or somewhere. David, do you know that woman? Yeah, it's Vicki Johnson. See if you can get her over here. OK. Hey, Vicky. Vicky, come here. Oh, hi, David. Little Davy Harmon. You sure are growing up quick. Uh, why don't you have a seat here? Let's buy you a drink. Well, you're a true gentleman. <laughs> and I don't even know your name. This is Dr. Tracy. He's one of my college professors. And we're so glad to meet you, Vicky. Hey, Vicky. I heard you say that Frank's out in the woods. What's he doing out there? I ain't supposed to tell nobody. You can trust us. We wouldn't tell anyone, would we, David? No, not a word of it. I don't know. Frank might get mad at me if I tell you. If we don't tell Frank, he can't get mad, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. OK, so what woods did he go to? Up in Herndon, you know where the old Barkley shed is? Well, if Joe Montague seen a green spaceman there this morning, and he and Frank are going to catch it and sell it for a lot of money. You know where she's talking about? Yeah, pretty good idea what she means. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Uh, Vicki, nice meeting you. Yeah, thanks, Vicki. See you later. Now, wait a minute. I thought you were going to buy me a drink. straight line, maybe five, ten feet apart. Well, what if we see something? You yell out, and you let the rest of us know. That's what. Are you scared, Thompson? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you peek on the ground. I should oh, scare it off me. Come on, Thompson, cool down. Yeah, save your fight for this thing we're looking for. OK, OK, I'm cool. Hey, don't you think we ought to get moving? All right, all right. Real important, guys. You see these ropes? Well, me and Joe, we're going to use them to catch this bird alive. So you just shoot to scare it. OK, now remember, we fan out, but stay close. All right, boys, let's go.
shooting a miss. We've got it corner. Yeah, he's right. We've got it trapped. <laughs> My God, it shot him. It shot getting. The hell with this. Let him have it. No, we need it alive. Um. Hey, Joe, for good, if you ain't gonna stop him. It's okay, though. You and me and JJ can still carry out our plan. Come on. Do you realize that an alien life form, an alien life form has finally come to Earth? I can't believe it. Why are those fools shooting at the creature? But Dr. Tracy, the creature's shooting back. It must have been provoked, David. Biggest scientific event in the entire history of the world is being lassoed by a bunch of rednecks. Bill! Bill, come on! It's clear, man! They got him! All right! Let's go. Hold him! Hold him! Get him down there! Come on! Hold him in there! Those kids, what do they think they're trying to accomplish? We got him! We got him! Hold him! Let me get a Watch out! Is. Sure. That's Joe Montague, the older guy. His place is up by Meadow Lake. Good. We're gonna follow them and keep an eye on this creature and hope to God they don't harm it. I know, look, Joe. We did our part out here tonight. You better make sure that bird don't get loose. Don't worry, Custer. My pa always does a good job. Well, he better, J.J., because if he don't, we're gonna hold you personally responsible, boy. Now, look, you better keep your mouth shut about what went on out here tonight. Don't be worrying about us keeping our mouths shut. You just make sure we get our part of the cut. Yeah, what is our cut? We risk an awful lot to catch this damn thing. Hey, don't worry about your cut, Thompson. I'm going into town tomorrow, and I'm gonna be talking to my contact. Now, let's get out there and bury them dead men. 
Well, I yeah. don't see where it makes no difference. We got to do that. Those guys well, are dead. They ain't gonna feel nothing no how. After we test this gun out, we're going to have to check on that space mask. Yeah, and make sure he's tied up good and tight. J.J., we got to figure out how these things work. Well, when we were fighting the spaceman, this thing seemed to power the gun. I think you're right. Joe, I demand to know what's going on or I'm going to call the cops. You do that and I'll put your lights out for good. I knew there was a green man. I saw in the garage. Where'd it come from, J.J.? I ain't sure, Annie, but Pa thinks it's going to be worth a lot of money. You're damn right. And another thing, I don't want you to say nothing to nobody about this. And that goes for all of you. Joe Montague, I have had it. You're fooling around with something you don't know anything about. Come here a minute. I want to, I want to talk to you for a minute. You have to listen to me. I know you think I'm crazy, but that thing in the garage could be worth a lot of money. Joe Montague, I don't know where that green man came from, but I don't think that's right that you have him tied up like that. Some kind of a spaceman, Custer told me. Do you know what this means to us? I don't want you having anything to do with Custer. He's a bum and a crook. No, no, Ethel. You don't know what you're doing. I'm doing what I want, and that's that. Come on, Annie. Okay, J.J., let's figure this thing out. Well, let's put it down here on the floor. Okay, but careful of that sweat. I've got something here, Paul. Oh! Doesn't spit fire. It ain't even hot. This gun, listen. Sounds like it's getting ready to fire. I'll tell you what, let's shoot it into that stairway. Hot damn, JJ, this is great. Shoot another one, Paul. Looks clear, David. Guess now's as good a time as any. I hope nobody catches us. Yeah, me too. But look, if someone does find us, I'll stall, and you get the hell out of here as fast as you can. Right, and I'll get the sheriff. Ready? Yeah. OK, let's go. Frank! 
Boy, I'm nervous as a hog on a grill. You got good news, I hope. Sure do, Joe. <laughs> I just got back from town. See my contacts? <laughs> it took a lot of convincing, but they're going to come out and take a look at the spaceman. And when they do, you and me are going to be two rich dudes. <laughs> Sounds great, Frank. Damn it. They're right outside. It's Custer and Joe Montague. I don't think we have a choice, David. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to whip this door open. We're going to make a break for it. We'll give our friend back here a message. Sure. Hope to hell he knows how to run. Ready? Yeah. What the hell? Hey! Hey! I, I got my gun right here. Tracy, no. Frank, no, he's just a kid. Get off, Joe, he's still a witness. to do that. Look, I saw everything that happened. My father has that creature's gun again. Is the alien OK? I don't know. I think it is. David, you've got to come with me. I'm supposed to meet Michael, and I know he can help us. I don't know. I don't feel too good. Look, I know what you've been through, and I understand how you feel. But we need help. And right now, Michael's our last chance. OK. Come on. Carol, where have you been? You're really late. What's David doing here? Oh, Michael, you've got to help us. Why? What's wrong? Is your father No, at... no, it's not that. Custer shot Dr. Tracy. He's dead. What? It's true, Michael. Where's Custer now? I'll break every bone in his body. Custer is dead. The alien, that creature that came here, he killed Custer. That spaceman saved my life. That's it. I told you before we should have told the sheriff about this thing. Forget that, Michael. Dr. Tracy didn't think the alien was hostile. He thinks he just wanted to get his gun and equipment back. I saw my father take the spaceman's gun, and there's no telling what he'll do. Carol, we shouldn't be fooling around with this thing. Michael, we've got to get those things back to the spaceman. It'll probably leave us alone if he gets the gun back. All right, I'll help you. But we better get your mother and Annie out of the house before I go in. That's going to be really hard. Dad'll be there. All right, talk to him tonight and plan on sneaking him out in the morning. Then we'll all meet back here at 8 o'clock. OK. Meanwhile, I'll try and think of some plan. 
some way to get that gun back from your father. I'll help out, too. Great. David, we better go. Just remember, Michael, I love you.
want to go. I'm tired of this. Why don't we just move away? Oh, Annie, come on. No. Come on, Annie. Mom. We're going to be late. Will you just leave her? I wonder when they're going to get here. Here they are. Hi. Uh, you bet. Come on, Annie. What's wrong with Annie? She's upset about this. Let's just leave her alone. OK, here's the plan. The first thing we have to do is go back to the house and find out where Joe is. It'll be up to you to get him outside. OK, once I get him outside, you grab him. I don't know. I don't like this whole thing. JJ, we're not trying to hurt Dad. We just want to get the weapon away from him. Will you stop being such a wimp? You say that, but Dad can really put up a fight when he wants to. Don't worry, JJ. I think we can handle him. Look, is everybody ready? Yeah, right. OK, let's get Annie and go. OK. okay. Come with us. We really, really do need your help. Okay. Frankie, come on in. Where's Frank, Joe? He never showed up last night. That's not like Frank. Hey, good old Frank. Good man, good man. Is Frank here? Where is he, Joe? Is Frank here? Let, let's go look. Frank? Frank, are you in here? Well, let's have a drink, Vicky. We'll figure out where Frank is. I don't want a drink. Where's Ethel? Where's the rest of your family, Joe? Eh, who knows? Who cares? They're somewhere. Come on, sit down and have one little drink with me. All right, I'll sit down, Joe. But I want you to tell me where Frank is. I'm really worried about him. I don't want a drink, Joe. I want you to tell me where Frank is. Good old Frank. Yeah, you know, we caught that spaceman. He got away, but we had him. Is Frank trying to catch him again? Is he still out in the woods? Yeah, Frank, yeah, that, that's it. He's out in the woods. Well, where, Joe? Well, take me to him, please. I could do that. Would you, Joe? Yeah. You know, you're a pretty good-looking woman, Vicky. Joe, I just want to see Frank. Give me a little kiss first, huh? No, Joe! Just take me to see Frank. No, get your hands off! Come on, baby. You don't need Frank. You got me now. Put your eyes on me, you maniac. Frank will kill you.
man, this is better than we thought. He's passed out cold. I stay here. And whatever happens, if Joe wakes up, stall him. Keep him here. We've got to have time to find that creature. Don't let him come after us. You ready? Yeah. Wait a minute, Michael. I'm going with you. No, you're not. You're staying here. There's no way you're going without We've me. We've got to get going. moving. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. It should be over this way. That's where I saw the fireball come down. Fireball? Well, I thought it was a fireball when I first saw it. It must have been that spaceman ship. Over there, huh? Yeah. Well, then let's go. Ah, oh, you gotta understand. Carol, she ain't here. She took it. I'll kill her. No, 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 no Danny. Danny, stop the talk. Get off me, Joe! Oh, no, no, Joe! Hear something? Sounds like somebody running. Oh no, it's my father. Come on. Hold it.
Okay. Hold it right there. That's it. <laughs> Don't nobody move now, except you, pump. Put that gun down on the ground, nice and easy. Now, y'all back off. Yeah. Mm -hmm.